my own search, I came across just like with Wishbone Ash, you know, came across the song and this. And I was like, I love this, you know. And I went to Ryan and I was like, you know, is this UFO? He's like, yeah. And he's like, that song? I'm like, yeah. He's like, that's great, you know. That's how you guys sound when you're talking to each other. Yeah. We- <laughs> they both sound like this. <laughs> Isn't it amazing, Dad? Yes, Ryan. <laughs> You two need to calm down, man. <laughs> Did I tell you he's drinking coffee at age 16? But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Into the Music. I'm here with Greg. My name is Chris, and Greg's got something for me to react to, so let me know all about it. I will. Uh, So there's a band uh, that's been around a long time. I think they're actually still around. band's called UFO. And ever hear them? I've heard of UFO as well. I don't think they really exist. (laughs) Well, these guys exist. No, I have heard the band UFO. Okay. Uh, I'd be surprised if you didn't. And... um, but then again, now Rock Bottom, that's the name of the song that I want to give you. Rock you know that bottom. one? Rock Bottom. I know Not to be confused with Spinal Taps, Big Bottoms, but Rock Bottom. Doesn't he like the, the cohort, um, the sidekick of um, the professor on Felix the Cat? Rock Bottom. Remember? <laughs> no, I, I remember anyway. Felix the Cat, but not Rock Bottom. Imagine me getting out of the wrong side of bed. Wow! Friday the 13th! This is gonna be a bad day. Okay, I'll give this a listen. Okay. And let you know what I think about these UFO things. The way you just said that, like, I'll I'll give it a listen. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey, it's the least I can do. Believe me, it's the very least.
Hey, man, I see you back. Uh-huh. What do you think about rock well, bottom? I want to ask, I'm going to ask you for something first. Yeah. What made you want me to listen to this? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what? Is that a bad question? Just the way you said that, like, it's a common. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a little accusatory, I guess. It's, a co- <laughs> it's not. It's not accusatory. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Maybe um, I'm wondering in what way I should thank you for this. So do you remember Wishbone and Ash? Yeah, we just, uh, we did, just did one, right. And so it's another band that, um, that my son is into. And he was trying to get me. It's another song or whatever it's that another band that he was trying to get me to get into and i'm like yeah 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 you know and then in my own search i came across just like with wishbone ash you know came across the song and this and i was like i love this you know and i went to ryan and i was like you know is this ufo he's like yeah and he's like that song i'm like yeah he's like that's great you know that's how you guys sound when you're talking to each other yeah we <laughs> sound like this <laughs> isn't it amazing dad yes right <laughs> <laughs> You two need to calm down, man. <laughs> That's how he's drinking coffee at age 16. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, chip up his old I don't know if you should be drinking coffee at your age, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you're Greg, you ever hear decaffeinated? Ah, so anyway, um, so once we, he was like, wow. And I'm like, yeah, wow. And then, you know, I was like, well, I got to give this to Chris. And he's like, yeah, you got to give it to Chris. I said, yeah, I will. <laughs> so I gave it to you. <laughs> and so here we go. So you're going to tell me. To temper your excitement. So now you're going to just poop all over it. So come on, let's go. You know what I can <laughs> sound like? Now, actually, the reason I was asking why you um, wanted me to listen to this was, I'm thinking it's because of that guitar, the lead guitar. Well, yeah, of course. Once once I okay. got the song and I loved it, I was like, I right. got, I got that to give Chris this. This is great. That was fantastic. And that was a long instrumental, right? Um, but I've got to tell you, the parts during the vocals, except for, except for it did change up a little bit after like a, what, first minute or two with the, vo- with the vocal parts. Um, but as far as um, musically, when the, the first minute or two with the vocal parts, I, I really just didn't couldn't get into that. I couldn't get into it. And then with the rock bottom part, all right, I just, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that immediately came to mind. <laughs> I started that. singing. I started singing the Spinal Tap song yeah. in my head. Big uh, bottoms. Big, big bottoms. My, my girl, girl's got them. Big bottoms. Big bottoms. And um, and so I, I could not. I couldn't get that out of my head when that they were singing that refrain. Is it the bigger the cushion, the harder the, the cushion? <laughs> well, everybody knows that. Um, <laughs> I'm a knowledge. Give me a pound um, see. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I'm not surprised by that, though, because... Um, because it came to your mind too. Well, no. Well, yeah. About the spinal tap, absolutely. No, but about <laughs> about the vocals, I I knew it. I knew it. And that's. But here's the thing, though. I thought that the music was so strong, the guitar was so strong, it was so good that I think that was going to lead you, you know, through you, the forest. You, it was going to exa- get you. You're exactly right. And because and, of that, it will yeah. make it onto my playlist. And I said that about a song we did recently too. That because of the instrumental break and the guitar part. It's going on. And I'm being dead serious here too, because um like there's some there's some great guitar work that I hear in songs, and I'm like, and then I hear the vocals or something, and not that I gotta I have you pegged completely completely, but I kind of have a little bit, you know, and sometimes I'm wrong, 
But, you know, I kind of know like what my chances are for the most part. And I just go, mm. but I'm like, man, but he's missing out on this song. He's missing out on this. Freaking hey, I, I do it with the ones I recommend to you, too. Yeah, so, exactly. So you know, I gave it to you. Down. And I said to Ryan, I'm going to actually tell him because he'll see it, too, on when we drop it. Um, I said to him, I said, this is actually almost sounds, the vocal sounds Iron Maidish, you know, and like, I know that you're not, I think, I think that's the song. There's a song that we, you know, you had listened to and, you know, um, you weren't crazy about. Right. And I, there's just that kind of, you know, that singing, that very kind of very, uh, I don't know, you know, you know what I mean, but, you know, there's this very kind of in your face sort of singing and stuff like yeah. that. Um, it's really hard to describe because I think this guy's vocals are fantastic. His name is Phil Mogg, and he is the only guy who is still um, one of the founding members of the band you know, that's still around. Okay. So the band is still in existence. Wait, when did this he come is, out? This came out in... 1974 this is off their third studio album called phenomenon and released in may 1974 as i said um the lead guitarist michael schenker he had just replaced mick bolton who was um founding member of the band and mm -hmm. michael then got into the band and on this album and that's the kick-ass guitar that you're hearing from him um, I think he was on the band for a while. He's not in the current lineup and like that. So, uh, but this marked a departure from, I guess they had like a blues based, this is what Wiki is actually saying, a blues based space rock um, sound. They were moving away from that and really transitioning into a more straightforward hard rock sound. You know, so with this song, I mean, you definitely get that. Um, and, oh, another thing about Michael Schenker too. Right, Schenker actually then went several years later and formed uh scorpions so you know oh, that band okay. yeah and they've had a really heck of a career um spanning 53 years 53 years 1968 is when they started uh then they've kind of had spurts you know 68 through 83 mm -hmm. then 84 through 89 and then 91 until present day um 22 studio albums 14 live recordings 16 compilation albums um yeah, they have uh, what Wiki is saying. The best known songs include Doctor Doctor, not the Doctor Doctor we know. I think there's um, there's Rock Bottom, this one Natural Thing, Lights Out, Too Hot to Handle, Only You Can Rock Me. Um, the band were ranked number eighty four on BH One's one hundred greatest artists of hard rock. So yeah, and they just like Wishbone Ash too. They seem to really have influenced a lot of current day rock bands. Uh -huh. you know? So, yeah. So I'm really glad that, you know, you got a hold of this. You listened to it. I'm surprised from these bands from the, yeah, um, from that, that are coming out of the seventies that I never, I, I might've heard of them, but I haven't heard, I haven't heard their stuff yet. So yeah. Yeah. Talk yeah. about there being a lot of stuff out there now, current stuff, but yeah. <laughs> back then there was too. So there's also some stuff discovering. that, that they do. So this was like towards a hard rock sound, but I think they actually have some pro progressive stuff too, a little bit. Mm -hmm couple years down the road or so i think so okay um there's a couple songs too it's like ah so i'm going to i'll pick wisely but i think there's another song or two you know but i want to see what the reception is like this you know wishbone ash i was hoping there was a little bit more but you know eh, still time because this is a great songs man great stuff from like like you said some really good rock and roll man from the 70s you know and it's just out there you know just to be listened to yeah. uh so with that said I'm glad you listened to it man and you have a good rest of the day. And to everyone out there, thanks for watching us. And um, hit the like button and hit all those good buttons that Chris always says. And we'll see you on the next episode of Into the Music.